Okay, folks, I'm going to make a start just after uh, one, oh, one or two more people coming in. I can see a few more uh, names uh, coming in to uh, the webinar. Just to let everybody know, I'm sure you'll see it on your screens anyway, but we are recording uh, today's webinar. Um, and I'm trusting that that's OK, everybody. Um, uh, we will then share this recording uh, with um, our wider community um, following uh, today's webinar. So, so please be aware of that um, when it comes to potential questions. If you want to, uh, if you're concerned about um, confidentiality or anything uh, regarding your own your own position. Um, anyway, let me get let me get started. Uh, we have a relatively small group. Obviously, the sun is the sun is shining. Um, so one or two people have not have, have, have probably chosen not to join us or um, uh, taking advantage of the sunshine while it's here. Uh, I um, uh, have a holiday booked at the weekend and I noticed that we have some great weather uh, for the last two or three days of this week. Uh, and I see that as soon as I go on holiday, it is scheduled to rain. Anyway, not 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 to worry. I'm not moving house. Thank goodness. Not just at the moment. So um, welcome to today's webinar. This is a partnership webinar between Quill and Hula. Uh, and the focus of our webinar is around efficient um, and compliant uh, conveyancing. Um, uh, and what we're looking at in particular is, is how uh, the likes of Hula and Quill uh, can be integrated so that you have actually got the best of both worlds when it comes to running uh, your conveyancing function uh, within your firm. So if you could just pop on to the next slide, please, uh, Adam. Um, so we'll just do a bit of a bit of housekeeping, a bit of introductions between myself and Adam, uh, set the scene uh, and then we'll get straight in as fast as possible into a live demonstration uh, of Hula uh, so that you can see how it works. And we'll just do a bit of question and answers uh, at the end. Um, so just to move on to the next slide, please. Um, housekeeping, I'm sure many of you have been to um, webinars uh, over the past two or three years. Um, we're using Teams. Teams has a panel on the right hand side. If you want to ask a question, uh, please pop a question into the web chat. I have a couple of colleagues in the background who are keeping an eye on that. Um, and if I, I miss those questions, uh, then um, uh, they will prompt me and we'll pick them up uh, at the end. We're a relatively small group and, and seeing how we, depends on how we get on, we may just take you all off mute at the end so you can ask questions in a real uh, live uh, environment. So just pop on to the next slide, please. So um, for those who don't know me, my name is Julian Bryan. I'm the executive chairman here at Quill. Um, and I'm joined by Adam Curtis, who is the chief exec of Hula, founder of Hula, architect and brains behind Hula. Uh, so certainly from the Hula perspective, you've got the right man in the in, in the driving seat um, as far as giving you uh, the best of a, of a demonstration of the Hula system. So just a word or two about Quill before we before we talk about about Hula. Um, I have a great view that that it's very, very important to to operate on a on a best of breed uh, basis. So what you get from Quill is um, uh, industry leading um, practice management system and legal account system uh, where we leave the expertise around specialist case management to the experts like like Hula. Uh, we've got something like 750 um, law firms using Quill uh, or using Quill's uh, back office systems, uh, into, including uh, access cashiering, typing, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, OK, next slide. And Adam, over to you just for, for a second or two. Well, thank you, uh, Julian and Quill, for inviting us today and everybody else for attending. Uh, yeah, so Hula is a, a cloud based case management system in a moment. Um, June's going to hand back to myself so I can demo to you uh, a little bit of what it is. And if you see anything you like today and would like a, a more in-depth one-to-one demo, I get in contact with uh, your representative at Quill and they'll be able to uh, introduce you to us and we can um, uh, work through that. Uh, and I can show you today how um, specifically Hula can work with conveyancing needs because if you've heard of us before, even if you haven't, we're very well known for conveyancing uh, products over uh, 60,000 successful cases were completed through our system uh, last year. 
um, you know, our quote system is very well known. So but you'll see that in a moment, but uh, I'll hand back to yourself, Jean. Thanks, thanks, Adam. So I think we're all seeing the, the convincing cycle seeming to take, uh, to take longer uh, than ever. There's more challenges, there's more checks, uh, there's more scope for fraud in this um, digital world that we, that we now uh, live with. Uh, Conveyances are being expected to uh, juggle a much larger caseload than, than they uh, may well have done in, in, in the past. And, and with that, the only way, well, not the only way, but, but to make that, that, that workload work more efficiently and to be coped with by the, the busy conveyancer. Uh, having a robust case management system that takes you uh, through the, the conveyancing workflow is pretty much um, essential if you're going to uh, get uh, that conveyancing work done uh, efficiently and effectively um, for your for your clients. And, and none of us like the idea of having to uh, key data in different systems multiple times. So the beauty of the, the integration that we have between uh, Quill and, and Hula is that that data, that core uh, client and, and matter data only need be keyed once uh, and the beauty of that is a it saves you time and and b you've got the the, the beauty of of data integrity uh, so often when people have to key um, even the simple things like a, a name and address into different systems you know typos get um, introduced or postcode lookups to work on one system um, and and not another uh, and that 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 generates error uh, confusion and and time wasting uh, down the line so with the integration that that, that Adam is, is about to show you um, then we do have the best of best of breed uh, in the sense that we have the the best that that, that quill can offer in terms of uh, legal accounts um, and the compliance around our and handling the money um, and we have the best of breed in terms of hula in terms of actually running and managing uh, that workflow so with no further ado let me pass over to adam who will actually give you this 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 live dem thank you julian for that uh, uh, nice introduction um hopefully uh, i've transitioned from powerpoint to the live uh, the demo fine uh, so you can all see it um what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use uh, my example solicitor here, Joe, to show you um, some of what Hula can offer. Hula is quite a, a big product these days, um, so I won't go to cover everything today. But one thing that Julian did really mention was that the integration between Quill is uh, really useful. And actually that goes throughout a lot of Hula's interaction. We're a quite open uh, system for working with people, so we love working with Quill. But also later on, you'll see we're integrated with the land registry for post completion. Lots of the search companies we're integrated with because we're a, you know, a friendly independent company. If you need us to integrate with the system, we can. Um, you know, in some, you'll see uh, as I go through this, we've got a, a client portal where the clients can sign and digi uh, digitally interact with you. But if you have your own uh, bits of software, we do have the, the bits and pieces for you to be able to connect with those. So let's go from beginning to end because that's what i think a lot of people like with hula is that you go from quoting to post completion all within the one system uh, and then have the benefit of quill supporting you behind the scenes so here we have joe logged into her hula system she's on her people list at the moment there is a dashboard where you can come in to begin with where you see your emails and your tasks that they've asked for the benefit of time to have gone straight into my people list so if you see anything today that you only like one bit of it, you can always just use one bit of Hula. So quoting is a great example. If you've ever seen um, solicitors with sort of like a pop up quote on the website, that's possible with our quoting system. If you work with lots of introducers like estate agents and mortgage brokers, they can be connected into your introducer. It's a, it's a quite a comprehensive quoting system. Over 250 law firms in the country, uh, conveyancing departments use our quoting system on its own, nothing else other than just Hula's quoting system to manage their quotes with introducers, maybe a pop-up on the website, and then internally, they can create a quote for a client. So for instance, if I've got John uh, Smith on the line, and I want to uh, uh, send him a little email, just to make sure I got the right uh, thing. Yeah, John Smith, perfect. I'm gonna grab his email address. I just have to make sure I got the right email address. So I want to show you him digitally signing some stuff. So at the moment, he maybe just wants a quote. You could just scoot right to the bottom and press save quote. Because I know uh, our services, 
for our conveyancing services. Excellent. He's going to accept it as soon as he sees the quote. I'm going to actually ask him for a correspondence address just so you can see. Uh, like we were just saying a minute ago, as soon as you've got some data in Hula, it comes with you on the whole journey. So I'm going to save and create a quote. So this is just like putting an email together. Uh, you know, many people before they start using it, any of any digital quoting system uh, will be spending a lot of time just even putting the emails together. But here I put I'm going to do the sale and purchase quote. If you've got different fee scales for different situations, they can be configured uh, and not just even just conveyancing ones, but focus on conveyancing for say. And then I'll pop in some details of the quote. And I'll say that they're also buying down here in Swansea because that's where we're based. Oh. We'll say that they're moving up in the world, uh, spending a little bit more on the property. Now, I mentioned we were integrated with the land registry for post completion. We bring all of those integrations all the way down to quoting. So I'm not going to have to worry about the, the tenure and the title of this property because we're going to use the land registry's free service to get that. But you'll probably know that your fee scales have different supplements and disbursements based on different tick box options. They can all be configured. I won't go too much into how the setup area works today, but uh, suffice to say, if you need to change your templates, your letters or your fee scales, you can click setup and do it yourself, or you can pick up the phone and ask us to help you. So you can take different things, obviously on the purchase side, second home, first time buyer, non-UK resident will affect the tax rate. I'm gonna press calculate and send. And within a few moments, ah, and because uh, I put our office in, uh, there's just uh, some discrepancy over there on the titles, I'm just going to, it's just going to ask me which one of them that I wanted to use. Um, so there we go. Uh, there was a flat 51 and a, and a house 51 there. So uh, it's just asking which title. Uh, so I've got the titles in 10 years and I've got the quotes all put together. Now, the quoting system, there's lots of things you can do. You can have temp. So if we go and have a look at the sale quote part of it in particular, I can remind myself to follow up. I can send uh, sale uh, emails from within the system. I can print requote. If you have a particular process that you need to do with quoting, I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to accommodate it. For instance, if uh, John said he needed he, he supplied some action information, you can edit it uh, and you can change the quote there. Now, please feel free to put questions in, in, the, in the chat or at the end, uh, bring them up about particular things, but I'm going to move quickly on uh, just so that I know uh, you've obviously on your lunch, uh, mostly on your lunch break, but was that um, Someone pop in a question. Do I? No, I just uh, hearing the hearing the sound uh, uh, in my mind. <laughs> so here's the quotes uh, that we've got, and we're going to now progress it through to a case. So in a few moments, we've been able to email out quite a, a, a professionally looking, and you can create your own email templates quote to the client. Now they could have pressed accept online, or they could be on the phone right now and say yes, we'd like to get going. So let's go into more of the, the nitty gritty of actually running a, a compliant uh, conveyance in case with lots of extra digital pieces. So I'm going to open up the case now on the Hula case management system. And the important thing to remember with all the things I'm about to go through now, and you can see it's pulling the information through for me. On, a, on the sale quote, it's unlikely that the address would have changed, but you know, with a purchase quote, sometimes the address can change uh, from quote into purchase. Um, as you open the file, just like uh, on many systems, you pick, we call it what we call a workflow, which is the set of rules, and you can configure the, we've got standard ones for conveyancing. Many firms will start with those and then start to build their own. Um, and you can, if you work with third party platforms like Sort Refer or ULS, you can have these workflows update those third party platforms, save so you having to log in, so really useful. Um, but naturally, you're gonna have to say who the fee owner is, who their assistant is, and it could be a team of people, you know, we've got some of our law firms have over 300 members of staff in different parts of uh, the country working in teams uh, or in the different parts of the world. Other uh, of our uh, law firms uh, offer a more bespoke tailored service where they may have a named individual uh, supporting the fee owner. So you can choose whatever it needs to be. And here is where you'll start to have your Hula system interact with Quill. So we're going to we're already hooked up to Quill. And it's going to open up your ledger on Quill as you're opening up your case on Hula. Now, like many legal cases, conveyancing uh, being no different, there are going to be lots of roles you're going to need to collect uh, information for. So we already have the client. But these other roles will come through. The beauty of Hula is if you're running it, to, if you're using it to run multiple areas of law, one person can have different roles in different cases. So that's why 
uh, John could be the client in this case, but the executor in another, or even on a purchase and a sale. He, he may be selling his own house, but on um, he may be a, a landlord, he may be selling a, a block of flats, maybe a management agent on another end. Anyway, I'll press create case. At this point, we'll open up the case. Behind the scenes, it's opened up everything uh, we need to do in Quill, and we've got the ledger. And I think it's Wi Fi. May have, there we go. It'll just, before it opens the case, it'll just ask. And uh, now, my Quill account is not got the same people as, as uh, Hula, my Hula account, so it's just got different people uh, for a test purposes. But you'd have all the same people, so it'd select everything, and we just select the type of case. And this is like when you open up Quill, you select who the fee is. But if they're in sync and they're not just demo accounts like mine and Julian's, they uh, sort of the names all match up. And now we've got a case open in Hula. And we've got a, a ledger opening quill. So I can click this quill pin, pin, pin point button. If I wanted to go see the ledger, I just click it open and it, I log in and I can I can see uh, the system there. So it's nice and easy within the one browser. I can flip between the two uh, quite quickly. Now, many of you may already be uh, very familiar with quill and if, um, I will just leave Julian and his team to explain that bit. So I'll just focus on some of the benefits of running the case through Hula. So, Put the case open, the circle diagram at the top is the workflow, and everything below is, is all of the data, so like the people involved, key dates. And the things I want to go through today are onboarding the client using our digital welcome pack uh, features, uh, show you some of the features, some of the benefits where you can put uh, draft contracts together really quickly, exchange, um, manage all of your inquiries in a compliant and uh, efficient manner, and then I'll flip into post completion, which is obviously quite topical coming up to November. We've got a, a direct integration with the land registry. So first things first, let's get this case underway uh, with the client. Click on the first milestone. These are completely configurable by yourself. The circles can be renamed. There could be less of them, more of them. And these to-do items, these tasks can have more of them, can have different ones. They can be auto-assigned to teams. But we've come here to get some of the welcome pack out. I've got my care letter, my client questionnaire, some TA forms that I'm going to want people to fill in digitally. I'm going to do it all a bit disjointed so you can see different parts of how Hula works, but suffice to say you can do all of this in, in one sort of fluid motion. So if you've got a care letter in Hula, it displays the letter within the browser. The beauty of this is if your team's working remotely, none of the data is being downloaded to the host computer. One of the benefits of cloud is the host computer, uh, you don't have to worry about the security there because no one's, none of the data is going down to the actual hardware. It's all within the browser, secure. It's pre-filled all the information. The way to think of Hula's letters, and you're thinking, oh, okay, it hasn't even opened up Word. There's no software needed to be installed. You could have Word templates if you want, but if you use the Hula inbuilt editor, it's interactive. So no one's put in the salutation yet for this case. So if I put in Mr. Smith, you'll see when we look at load up other letters, it's already been pre-filled. This is obviously a simple example, but as you enter in more things like completion dates, they get pre-filled across all of the letters. Puts your signature on. We've got a digital signature for the client. And so if we just wanted to, to not use any of Hula's digitally collecting the information, we just wanted people to digitally sign something, we press request digital signature and we send that off to John. And that's all we've got to do. If we want to send a pack or a single letter off to someone and that then sends them an email and they can sign that in. We'll sign in as John in a minute. We'll do a few things uh, for John. So we've asked them to sign that letter, but there's more to your care pack usually. So for instance, if you also want him to complete some of the TA forms, we'll ask him to fill in the TA6 as well. So here is, um, and we're a full licensed provider of the Licensed Law Society forms, and we can produce the forms and have them filled in with the information. And then we can ask the client to digitally sign them. So, and this could be, obviously we've only got one client, but you can have multiple clients sign. Obviously, typically there'd be one or two people on a, on a transaction. So we've now asked John to sign our care pack and fill in the TA forms. What does what does that mean? Well, behind the scenes, if I just, uh, I'm on my other screen, I'm just gonna bring it across. I've got my other browser with my John's email address in. So here we've been asked to, uh, for instance, fill in the TA6 form. It's the one that Gmail's popping up for me first. So I'll, I'll do that first. It doesn't really matter. They can do it in any order they want. Ah. Let me just do this on the other screen. So it's a lot. I've got a bigger screen. So Gmail's always can a little bit tricky. Right. 
has the emails come through yet? Oh, we're just waiting for the emails to come through still. Typical. The, de the, the downside of demoing this side of things too is that you have to wait for all the emails to be delivered. Let's. Whilst we're waiting for the emails to be sent, we can see quite easily here when they have been shared with a client. Um, but you're probably thinking, if I was on this case and my team were um, wondering to know what had what had happened and when, it'd be quite frustrating. I had to click on every single circle. This is where the compliance element of it comes in. In the case overview, here you'll be able to see all of the activities. So here I can see that I've been I've sent the care letter to be signed. I've sent the TA6 to be filled in and signed. If, for instance, I also emailed a copy of this by clicking view, and I said uh, to John, here is the character and say the TA6, my kind of templates, everything you're doing within Hula is being tracked against the case overview. So if you delete files or send files, they'll all be there. And for some reason, it has chosen this very moment to be very slow. Cheat now. Right. Apologies. going to do. This is quite well, good. Do you want to see if any, while you're waiting, Adam, shall we just see if any, anybody got any questions at this point that need to be clarified? Any points that haven't been? Maybe put them into your chat. Anybody while we're just. Um, I've actually found a deliberate mistake and it's quite a good one, actually. Oh, sorry, apologies. Now and again, your clients will tell you the wrong email address. We've all been there and they'll say they'll be screaming their blue in the face. You've not sent me anything. You're not doing anything. You know you've been working very, very hard, like all of the industries at the moment. And I can see that in my uh, uh, obsession with Hula, I've actually put in johnsmith at hula.com. The beauty of Hula is if mistakes are made, it's really easy to rectify. So John uh, has uh, come back a bit sheepish and gone, actually, sorry, I've got, I told you the wrong email address. So uh, that's no problem, John. Let me update that for you. Hula knows the email's changed, so I'm going to re-invite John to the case. I'm going to say, don't worry, John, I'll get everything sent out for you again. So I can easily and quite quickly resend this to John. And I'll also ask him quite quickly to fill in the TA6. So I can cancel that form filling request, sign it again. So. Everything's being tracked on Hula. It, I know I'm logged in as Joe, but if I was one of her team members, I would be able to come into this case and say, OK, John, don't worry, John. Uh, Joe's away at the moment. She's gone on holiday, uh, even though the weather's going to be horrible at the weekend. I can see that we've emailed you at johnsmith at hula.com. Ah, oh, no, that's all right. So you've got that history. You don't have to have access to your client, your team's inbox to be able to see what's gone on. So this, so it can be really useful um, from, for instance, um, during the pandemic when more people were working remotely, um, a lot of people found it quite useful uh, that uh, because Hula syncs up with your inbox, as emails come into Hula, they automatically get attached to the case. As your post comes in, it automatically can be scanned by the post room and scanned in. It didn't matter if you were all in different locations, you could still get up to date with what people are doing. So apologies. Here's the email that's come through. Obviously, it would come from your email address. John clicks the email and it takes him straight to the form. He would have logged in, created his own account, um, which I've done earlier. It says your logo and your colours. The beauty is this, if they have a technical problem, they can click the help button and ring us directly for the technical problem, but also if they want to contact you, they can get your contact number uh, from the system. 
I can go through them filling them. Don't worry. I've already made you sit through me working out how to use emails. I won't make you sit and watch me fill in a TA6. So I'll scoot right to the bottom and say I've completed it. With your own questionnaire, you can make particular fields mandatory. With the TA form, you may not want to. Ah, good question there. Uh, is who someone's asked a question in the chat? Is Hula taking the place of Quill's case manager, or will it, who or Hula be all in Hula be finding Quill? Hula's not there to take the place of Quill. It's there to supplement it. A bit like Hula's not there to replace your uh, amazing client interactions. It's there to supplement it. So you, you still do everything you like doing in Quill, in Quill, and by clicking that button and go into Quill, and anything you liked in Hula to supplement uh, Quill, you'd be able to do within. I think that's a fair statement, is it, Julian? Absolutely. So none, none, there's no financial information in Hula. So all of your 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 ledgers where you need to maintain your client and office office accounts, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, um, are all being maintained in Quill. And and I think um, probably a point we, we we should make here is that when when Adam created uh, this client and this and this particular case um, in the background that client and and matter would have been created in quill so that you can add all of your financial transactions to to the ledger uh in in quill definitely, definitely. And we can when we pop back to uh joe in a second i can show you that quill button and it'll take you uh, uh how it takes you through so i'm just going to quickly sign this now i'm doing it on my laptop the beauty of Hulu is for a lot of people there's nothing to install so if you uh, or your team uh, have MacBooks or Windows or any computers, it'll work. And it's the same for your clients. They could do this on a mobile phone or any, or even on their smart TV, though it'd be more harder to sign on their smart TV. Anyway, I've signed the document there. If I also, um, that's obviously a specific TA form, but if I also uh, wanted to, um, and I've signed that now, if I wanted to go back to the case, I can see as a client the workflow. I can, see, I can upload documents um, to the system. I can get your bank details securely. So no longer do you have to email, tell the client to trust an email. You can say log in to our secure branded portal and you can get our bank details from there. So another way of securing your information, you know also, uh, so uh, perfect, so segment. So if I receive, ah, uh, perfect. So if you, another question coming on the chat, if you receive external communication on conveyance of bar, they'll be still saved to Quill. So uh, you'd have to, ah, uh, Julian, does Quill also sync the emails to their case as well? No, no, no. So, so, so the so all we're doing is is creating the client and creating the matter. Uh, we can send the financial transactions um, or can receive the financial transactions uh, from the case management system. But no, the emails will not be in two places. They're only going to be in in Hula. Yeah, definitely. So all of your emails. Would be in the case so they'd come in here and you'd be able to see your emails within the case so you'd be able to click your message center and see the emails as they were coming through and they would auto attach to the case so because the clients now completed that ta6 form we would get an email about it and we can come down here and we can see the signed version of the ta6 and and the information that was completed so we only completed one or two bits of it and right at the bottom we've got our digital signature. Another thing, uh, there's another question, I'll come to it in a second. Another thing that the clients really like about the digital signatures within Hula is it's not third party add-in, like Hello Sign or Signable or um, DocuSign. You don't have to explain to the clients that someone else is going to email them. It'll come from your email address and it's just a glint, they click, they go to your branded portal. They don't have to install anything or they just click and sign. And obviously with all digital signatures, you get a digital footprint. Now, the downside with the TA forms is you've got to send this to the other side solicitor. And this has got contact information on. Very important if you came to a court case, but not very useful if you need to send it to the other side solicitor. We create a second version called the client's completed version, which still has the digital signature on it at the bottom. But no, the footprint has been redacted so that you can send this to third parties like the other side solicitor. Now, apologies, there's a, a John's asked a question. Client account details, we only send the encrypted and password protected password sent using different features such as tax. So you don't send any passwords to your clients in Hula. They create their own secure password and they can then, you and them can have 
two-factor chip and pin logins using uh, the Google Authenticator app. Uh, so you don't, you'll never know their password. They'll never know your password. We can't know yours or their password. You may be thinking, well, what if I need to sort of restrict their access? If I wanted to remove John from the case, I just hover over, if I click this X, it would remove him. So yeah, you don't ever send a password to anybody. Um, that in itself is insecure. That's not as secure. Uh, so yeah, they've got to pick their own password. Uh, and we actually maintain a list of passwords. They're not, you or them are not. There's a publicly available common password list and we we make sure no one is allowed to. So there's no Liverpool one, two, three or something like that. <laughs> or uh, 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 Chelsea one, two, three, depending on your, whatever your references. Hope that helps, John. So hopefully what you're seeing is you can quite easily interact with your client digitally, get to sign information, quickly create letters. That experience, progresses as you go through a case. So actually, if I apologize, if I, I will say we've got all the client care pack now, we haven't sort of gone into to most of it, but conscious of the time. As you move through the case, this isn't just a one trick pony with, you know, there's lots of client onboarding software, there's lots of quoting software, but this is all users through all that. So if I wanted to draft the contract, again, it's all there. I can quickly choose the way I want to address a client. So I haven't got the buyer yet. So um, it's just waiting for that. And I have, I've got the purchase price, but I haven't got the deposit. Again, I could fill the data in if someone hadn't done it from the letter and that will then filter through to um, the, the rest of the system. But I can go through making my choices manually or automatically. And then when I'm ready, I want to send out. So again, any letter, any document can be quickly. And as I'm doing this, it's safe. So if I pr printed a version of this to print out, it's storing that activity. You can't do something in Hula without it being stored. In fact, in the dashboard area of, in the reports area of Hula, you actually can monitor how your staff are doing using this. So I can see that Joe's uploaded nine files in the last seven days. These are the nine files. So you can quite, everything's, there's a very strong audit trail. So I can draft digital contracts. I can also use this same technology moving even further forward to manage my inquiries. So as inquiries come in, you can in import them from the email or the letter, and I can show you that in a second. Or if you're drafting your inquiries, I've got some here I've prepared earlier, but I can also create some new inquiries. So I'm, I'm the, I am the seller of this one. So it would be, so these are the, these are the, 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 the inquiries that have come in. Maybe this one's already answered. So I'll put a date in for this. We've already got the answer for it. But basically what I'm doing by answering these is when it comes to producing any letters, it's pre-populated. So here's my letter to the other side solicitor with the answers as I'm completing them. So you've got that from end to end. We can digitally onboard them. We can securely, um, just make sure there's another question. We can securely uh, collect information from them. We can then draft contracts. We can manage inquiries. Um, and we can progress the case. So we'd obviously step through bit by bit. Any questions on the draft inquiries or the contract generation so far in the chat? I think we're OK. Let's keep going. We're yep, slightly Michael, tight on time, Adam. Yeah, we are tight on time. Sorry. So the last thing I wanted to show you, obviously, if you like anything you've seen today as a, as a brief introduction, we can have a one to one. But just so you're clear, so if I quickly popped one of my purchase cases, just I won't bother opening up a second one. It's the same for purchase case, but what you can do, uh, I'll just add the um, Android Street submission to this one because we're tight on time, is now and obviously after November, you can submit your own land registry re uh, res registrations, pulls the information through. So as you're going through the case, you can build up any application you want, conscious of, of the time that you go through, and then eventually you'll have in your post completion room, you'd have all of your land registry submissions in one go. You're about to see all of your requisitions, all of your things. So that was a very brief overview of Hula. Obviously, any questions I can answer, but I'm conscious of it. We run over a little bit. Apologies. Okay. Thank. Thanks, Adam. Any any questions? Anybody want to bash anything into the uh, the chat? Uh, we've had a few questions as we've as we've gone. I think. 
Um, my advice is is that if if Adam has whetted your appetite, then uh, please please get in get in touch with him. Um, integration is very much out of the box between Quill and and Hula. So so if you're an existing Quill customer and you're you're looking to to add a conveyancing centric case management system, uh, then Hula is one of the systems that, that, that we integrate with out of the box. And I think you can see that Adam has got a very, very comprehensive um, system where you can bespoke your workflows to your particular uh, practice requirements. And as Adam said, you know, he, he, he successfully or, or the system successfully processed to completion 60,000 transactions uh, last year. Uh, so clearly it's a, a, a robust um, comprehensive system uh, that will work. And of course, all of that information is being set up in Quill ready for you to handle the financial aspects of the of the, of the matter uh, within within Quill. So your back office cash room team, cashiering team uh, can handle that as, as required. Um, so I am conscious that we said we give this this half an hour. Uh, I don't see any more questions coming into into the chat. So uh, I almost feel like I've got a hammer in my hand. I've got a gavel in my hand and I'm going to go five, four, three, two, one. And thank you, everybody, for 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 joining us. And um, like I say, uh, we will send you a, a copy of this um, recording. And if you want to get in touch with uh, with Adam, just send just send us an email at Quill uh, and we'll get it on to Adam. If you haven't picked up Adam's email address already or go to the um, the Hula website uh, and I'm sure Adam will pick up your inquiry from there. OK, folks, thank you very much indeed. Say cheerio. Bye.